that's the back seat you used to sit in as a yep. kid, I guess, right? That's it. We're here at the 2023 season opener for Division One Cecil County Dragway in Rising Sun, Maryland. I am out. I'm walking around looking for stock and super stock cars, and I saw this awesome 1972 Two. Ford Maverick driven by Jamie Shanley out of Red Hill, Pennsylvania. East Greenville, right next to it. All right. So this car has been in the family for a while. We're going to have Jamie tell us all about it. Jamie, uh, first of all, How's your day going here? So far, so good. We got by first round, uh, had a little room at the finish line, hit the brakes and got the wind light. So we're we're hanging for right now. All right, now Jamie's hasn't had the car out in a few years. Fresh motor, uh, some updates to the car, and now back, this is the first race back. First in. race back since August of 19. 19, all right. So and he picked up right where he left off, winning rounds already. Yeah. <laughs> so James, tell us about the car. Your father purchased this car brand new, My father right? bought the car brand new in 1972 at Red Hole Ford, right where I'm pretty much living right now. Uh, traded in, I believe, a Galaxy or something at the time, but wanted a Maverick and uh, went to Red Hill Ford and ordered up what he wanted as an original grabber car with a 302 and two barrel. Knowing my dad, he probably took the two barrel right off and put a four barrel right on it, <laughs> you know, and had it, had it down the track more times than it's probably been down the road. So yeah, it's been in the family for ever. And I remember my brother and I and the family sitting in the back seat going to the mall and stuff in the late 70s and early, you know, well, inspection sticker there. Last time it was inspected was 8081. You know, we didn't want to do too many modifications for that reason. We like that it's been in the family and we don't want to cut it up. It's, it's all original, original paint on everything still. So it's got its marks, but that's what makes it unique for us. Yeah, now I'm running super stock. This is a GT combination, GTQ automatic. Uh, what engine combination are you running, James? It's a 289 cubic inch out of a 64 Mustang motor. It's 210, 203. All right, so it's it's the 64 Mustang. 64 Mustang. The 64 and 65 Mustangs have a different rating for some reason that we have no idea why, and uh, we go with the 64. We go with the 64, correct. All right, now this is the uh, this is the, not the same motor that I would run in my super stock car. It's got that small small carburetor. carburetor. It's the Autolite yeah. 4100 with the 108 Venturi size, so it's the smaller of the two. Yes. All right, so we're talking about 450 CFM on that. You run, it looks like a small tire here. Is this a, it's about a, a stocker tire? It's a stocker tire, 30 by nine, and I do have it on a 10 inch rim this time. I used to run an eight inch rim, but we went through a 10 inch rim, try to get a little more footprint down. Now you had some updates done to the car by Billy Neese. What did he do to the car? Correct, we put new ladder bars in the bottom. We had ladder bars in there, but I never really had them set up correctly. To go in a little backstory, my father passed away in 2010, the first year we started getting this thing ready for super stock and the suspension was laying on the floor in the garage when he passed away. So my brother and I kind of threw it together and did what we knew how to do and just wasn't working great. You know, we just didn't know exactly how to, to make it work great. So we turned it over to somebody else and he made some updates and modifications and uh, excellent so far, can't complain one bit. Right, right, it, it helps. The car's doing some sky high wheelies this weekend. Uh, looks really cool uh, launching the line. What kind of rear and uh, gear ratio are you run, James? It's 567 gear ratio. It's, you know, your standard nine inch Ford. All right, now it looks like you have a uh, small cell here. What's yep, this about? it's a two and a half gallon, two mm -hmm. and a half gallon cell. That's nice, you got a weight box weight here. Weight box over here. Can play with a little weight there. Got the battery on the other side. 16 volt. Yep. Uh, D1600. That's like the excess power. Oh, and you got a little uh, gauge there, I yeah, guess. Voltage gauge. A little gauge. Vol voltage gauge there. And a lot of old retro stickers. Yeah, there. those were, my dad had them on from probably shortly after he brought the thing home. <laughs> the uh, spare tire jack and um, in instructions for what, changing a tire? I yep. Guess. <laughs> Surprised that's not still in the car yet, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. We love these retro cars. Ford Mavericks, you don't see too many of these, and here we have two of them in Division One. And I'll just give you guys a glimpse. You all know Dwayne Hoven's Ford Maverick. Now his is a 71, One. I yep. believe. He's Yours a 71. is a 72. Correct. And we have the Galaxy here of Pat Clemente, 64 Galaxy. This is Ford Row over here. We have a nice Cobra Jet of Ken Shannon over there. So I guess I should have been pitted in this row. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Now the engine, this is a new engine for 2023. Correct. So who built the engine? 
Um, with the help of you guys, you, your father, Robert Sr., and Dwayne Hoven, we uh, got it all put together and seems to be running excellent right now. Hi. Now the GTQ automatic, yep. James, you said you're rated at 203. What's okay. the index and what's the minimum weight? The index is 1175 and my minimum weight is 3010. All right, so 1175, how you been running this weekend? Good, uh, yesterday with a little better air, we went 1085. All right, so nine under. Yeah. by far the fastest I've ever gone. And what kind of mile an hour? 120 point, I believe it was 95. 120, almost 121. All right, now, in years past, you had to foot brake this car. Looks Correct. like with the updates to the suspension, and even on this nine inch tire, I mean, you're popping that trans brake button and this thing is sky It's going, so, yep. Has it making it easier to drive now? It is, it is. I gotta get back on the tree a little bit. I'm not used to the trans brake and you know, it's a different ball game for me, but uh, once we hone in on it, I have good confidence that we're gonna be in a better spot rather than trying to foot brake it. Absolutely. Uh, what kind of RPM are you turning with the car? I'm shifting right now at about 7576. Seven, and I think I got maybe a little adjustability there going through at 83-ish. Okay. You know, about 883. Yeah, I mean, these engines like the rev. Yep, you know, got to get it moving. Do, yep. right? So let's take a look inside the car. James, what kind of uh, transmission and torque converter are you running? Well, it's a C4 trans that your father, Robert Sr., did for me, and uh, the converter's dynamic 8-inch converter. All right, now I like this interior here. The seats, these aren't factory seats, right, James? Correct. Yep. Got your nice trans brake button right there. Uh, is that a tur uh, turbo action? Turbo action shifter, shifter yep. Okay. Air shifted. I think this car had factory seats in it for a while. Yeah, I have them. Yep, I have everything. I could put it right back to uh, put it right back to factory if I want to. Yep. Look at this. You got a back seat in the super stock car. Yeah, you, you never know if you want to need a little extra weight. You can s sit somebody back there and let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the back seat you used to sit in as a yep, kid, I guess, right? That's it. And you got an air bottle back here for the uh, the uh, O2 shifter, right? Yep, CO2 that's shifter, for the shifter, yep. All right, that's cool. Still had the tack right in front of me from when I used to bracket race a lot, and you didn't have any of those aids to help you shift. That's so. right, now you ran Street street ET street with and pro, pro. Pro Eliminator, yep, yeah. at Maple Grove for years. And that's how we met, actually. That's how we um, met. You yep. were always running every weekend. Yep, we used to run points up there for years, and then we always had the itch to do some stock or super stock something with my father, and. Uh, you know, we decided on super stock, and then that's when we started the process. And you guys obviously jumped in to help us out. Right. The, part of the downfall with these Mavericks is they just didn't come with four barrel Correct. carburetor for some reason. Correct. And that's why we opted kind of for super stock. You know. That's a silly decision, you would say, right? Yeah. Kind of weird, right? <laughs> but yeah, you are these these other racers here. They have no idea what they're in for. You were uh, always, you know, bracket finals. You were always in the top contention there at Maple Grove. You know, very tough. Yeah, I just need there. to get back on the seat time and you know, let things alone and get consistent with things again, and we're gonna be all right. I used to run just an off-the-shelf header that would fit in a Maverick, because with the shock towers, as people know, it's very difficult to find something to work. But uh, I had. Now let's let everybody see these shock towers that that you have to deal <laughs> with with these. So the headers have to turn, you know, immediately as soon as they come off the head. Makes it a little, probably disrupts the flow a little bit. Uh, number. Uh, four and number eight in the back, they can they can do a straight shot, but the others. Right. So I had somebody make up the headers for us, and uh, again, it had to be some horsepower there, definitely, from what I had before. So again, an upgrade that definitely helped us out. Yeah. It looks like cars are warming up. That's a super street car. I saw a super stock car coming around the uh, corner earlier, so it looks like super stock may be going out. We're going to get another soon. one in probably another hour, maybe an hour or so, and we should be getting another one ready to go. All right, it looks like the sky is turning a little bit dark. I guess we'll just hope for the best here. Let's get this second round in. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Jamie can turn on another wind light. Fresh off of, uh, you know, coming back with a new car. Hasn't been out in four years, making it happen. Sounds good, Bob. All right, Jamie, we'll see Appreciate you out there. It. Thank you.